Sorry. Finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. I'm Sharon. The spirit fair. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What is his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then, and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit, Ferris. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Hi, X Gravity. Hope you're doing well. The big brown, <laughs> the big round bridge over there is the Ever Door. The Alpha, where everything starts, and the Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the guests get completed, quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. There is no more. That there is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Ooh. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight, the symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Oh, sweet. Wait, what are you? <clears throat> oh, how highly inappropriate. <gasps> Daffodil got one. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. Thanks. What's my name again? I know Daffodil. God, you're so cute. I did it. It's a belt buckle now. I am now a luchador. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. Oh yeah, I have to press there. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. I'll try. He will soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit bearers, after all. Oh! One last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go! Whee! So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. What? Did he say? Hi! Ch 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 Sharon. Bye, Sharon. There it goes. There they go. What's wrong with our boat? It's... It's plenty big. Whoa. We manifest a paddle, and we get going. Yeah, um, we need a big boat. I'm sorry you can't see the loading screen. <laughs> okay, Daffodil. What do I do? Okay, I have a mess. <laughs> Let me fix something real quick. Three seconds. Two. One. 
Zero. Okay. Accurate, right? I fixed it. Oh my god, my ship is gone. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Daffodil. Can I interact with you? <sighs> I love you. Press spacebar to jump. Hold spacebar to jump higher. <clears throat> Wait, what? We're climbing. We're, we're parkour. You parkour? I need to find spirits. Drop down. Right here. Mm -hmm. I think this character uh, speaks a lot, so I'm not going to do a crazy, silly, stupid voice. <laughs> I'm going to do a comfortable voice. Because this character talks a lot. Stella. Oops. I ignored you. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. Mm -hmm. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Well, Daffodil looks even gooder. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to find a lint roller then. Oh, don't complain. You're a fancy pants, aren't you? Ah, it might not be that obvious after mm -hmm. all. It's me, Gwen. Hi, Gwen. Good thing you found mm -hmm. me. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are mm -hmm. the new spirit, Farrah. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. Hey, a bird. I must have been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Funny how... I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Of course. See that boat over there? What? That's a fine vessel. That's a fine vessel. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the mm -hmm. deck over there and I'll explain all of it. Ah, uh, what's this? Oh. I'll meet you on the deck. On the deck. On the deck. What? Ah, I need to climb up. Okay. I see. I like this little platform. You can't get up here? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What did I slide on? <laughs> I slide on this? Oh, sick. All right. It's, this is a dump. You're right. Can I sit? Okay, that's enough. I play the game now. Oh, Daffodil! Over here! Hmm. Okay, here goes! I uh, hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Are you a reindeer? Oh, okay. Dude, I'm so poofy looking. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Oh my gosh, you are fancy. Mm -hmm. Look at you with your... So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. <clears throat> is it? Don't you think? Mm -hmm. uh, good. <laughs> as, and as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. Once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. It's my theory, anyway. Uh, why are you looking at me like mm -hmm. that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Deal. Um. I could. F oh, I feed people too. Wow. Hug me. <gasps> oh, so cute. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh. Furry artists have made this, and I love it. Mm. I have nothing against fairies. What? I mean, come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Nice. Hey, if you're joining, thanks for joining. Mm -hmm. Hope you're having fun. Hope you're being relaxed. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Let me mm -hmm. think. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright, and his jokes are garbage, but he is the only one who could mm -hmm. fix your boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make mm -hmm. this ship move. It's really easy, actually. There. Let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock the cabin in mm -hmm. the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very. Mm -hmm. Meticulously. Go open up that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you should have to. And you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. 
I can do that. I can do that. Smile. I saw these things on the side of the boat. Can I touch them? Set sail, Captain. No. Hold on. <gasps> Daffodil! He's too cute! Can I get that? Give. I got it. Empty shell. I don't know what those are for. What's this? A missile? I'm going to assume those are practically useless. And just kind of like bum rush, bum rush my way um, to the game a little bit. Just to, you know, make progress. Okay. Uh, let me see real quick how you're doing. Gwen. Favorite food? Don't know. Likes? Don't know. Dislikes? No idea. She's optimistic about her new journey, and we did recently hug her. And that is always, usually, a good thing. Always, usually, a good thing. It's locked. Gwen, it's locked. Oh, there we go. She gave me the key, that's right. What is this thing? A map? Oh, it's the map. It's the map. It's the map. Alt Harbor! What do I do? Okay. Albert Shipyard, let's go see Albert. I did it. Gwen. Gwen. I did it. Gwen, I did it. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight and love. That's how it cruises this ocean and reveals stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You need an Everlight. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Sharon, the Everdoor, the spirit is this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. Do you see the light now? Would you say that you see the light? I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. Ooh, the world is your oyster. I will have fishing rod. I saw this, I wanted to. How I do it? Get in here. Come here. Oh, it's a big one. Or we're just like moving the opposite direction. Herring. <gasps> I got a herring. I think this is how far we are on our journey. So we've got a ways. Get out of here, pelican. <laughs> I was definitely a pelican, don't worry about it. Oh, I got something. I hope it's a pufferfish. <gasps> it's a herring. Are herring out in the ocean? I guess they are. I have no idea what fish are. What are fish? Come here. Yeah, so this is this whole stream is just going to be a nice relaxing thing. Um, whenever I play this. I'll do a full playthrough. What what is that? We just we have reached the shipyard. Um oh my god, where's the where's the anchor? Drop anchor. Albert shipyard discover. Albert, um Albert's a shark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this cloud. I'm curious about what it's mm -hmm. all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Okay. Okay. Let's go down. Let's go see Albert. Can we soup up our ship? I think in this game you can design, like, housing. And I think it just goes on our ship. Over here! I need a voice for him. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. I also stutter like you. Very strange and coincidental, huh? Should I assume you are the new spirit fire? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gun was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Ah. Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built for some... somebody a long time ago and stored in my own shipyard. See, Sharon was unhappy about this gloomy and dank arbor. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. 
But don't worry, you can keep it. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know you always joke about construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day, I'm feeling generous. I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at a small price. You'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Direct? Where? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Talk. Upgrade. Adventurous manatee. We are the exploring krill. I don't have 1200 bubbles to spend on that. <laughs> but, um, wait. Oh, I did it. I clicked that. Okay, I click, I click it. I did, I guess. Okay, right. The blueprint station. Got it, got it. That's right. I'm smart. A guest house? We can build a garden, a field, a kitchen, and obviously a guest house to have some spirits. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> oh my goodness. Sawmill, loom, foundry, orchard, che There's crafting in this? I'm gonna like this a lot more than I thought. It's mostly a story game. Seems like there is also crafting. Nice. I did it. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. Uh, on your boat. Uh, excuse me. What a treat. And, but if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and pleasure, I'm your guy. What? Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded or not pleasurable. Cheers. Okay. Weird. Um. Let's go make our boat more pleasurable. Right, Daffodil? The daffodil? Okay, we're good. Thank you, um, Mr. Sharky Man. I forgot your name already. Albert. That's what it is. Good. Albert gave it to you for free? What a sap. He said you loaned the ship to you. He loaned the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I was wrapping frames for a second. Oh well. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Uh, blueprint table. Oh. What? Okay. That's viewing. Okay. This is editing. I mostly don't even need the uh, the mouse at all. So junky pile. Oh, I can just <laughs> let's uh let's uh, let's, uh ooh, let's uh, salvage this. Logs, bottles, two shoes, and one carpet. Let's go. Already two two. Yeah, baby. Um. Can I recycle that carpet to make a home for somebody? Wonderful! That's her real voice. You did a wonderful job, Stella. <clears throat> and the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's for you, isn't it? Unnecessary mm -hmm. amenity to me. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Hmm. Hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I hope that's just you being picky, Stella. I mean, Gwen. Gwen. Because Gwen is, seems like the hoity type. Hopefully she's just over-exaggerating, and it's not that bad. La 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 la. I will build. Whoa. I can build a field? No. I don't have limestone and I don't have lightning in a bottle. Oh no, I need. Wait. Oh. I see. Build. Guest house. I just need wood. Whoa! Stella, let's put it right smack dab in the. <laughs> nah. Um, over here or over here? Uh -huh. 
Oh, I'm on here. What if? Okay, stay with me. What if? Okay. You listening? I'm gonna put it over here. I have no idea why. Uh, I would love to have just a bench. Okay, we did it. I can I can move it around anytime. How do you like it? Ooh. Very nice! I love it! Ooh. Thanks, I worked hard. I love our character's hat and hair. It's very, very cute. This guest house is very pretty. <laughs> it has your touch. Nice work as usual. Ooh. Now at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is going on? Something else is happening. Mm -hmm. Is it in your body? Because I don't really want to... Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. It is in her body. Mm -hmm. Or their body. I don't know. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am, but remember, I remember you being absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. What? Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'd probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Mm -hmm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds, you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen mm -hmm. aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it, mm -hmm. there, as well as the necessary resources. Damn, you require mm -hmm. bright jelly. And there's only one way to get some. I... Mm -hmm. Please don't give the cigarette to my cat. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. Even you, huh? Avoid that swallow's awe, light included. I need to start using the accent for her. I can take many forms, and for me it is... It can take many forms, and for me it is always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. But you're mm -hmm. here. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. Okay. You got it, Gwen. Enjoy your room that I built for you. It's getting... Dusky out here. Should I go to sleep? No, we should set sail first. And then go to sleep. Ooh. Okay, we fill out our map by exploring, I guess. We can go one place to another or probably just go randomly. Whoa. Um, what's that? What's that? Seeds, treasures, wood, ores. Let's go here first so we can actually build a kitchen. Okay. Uh, we're moving. It's nighttime. I'm gonna go to bed. Is she okay? Is Gwen okay? You okay, Gwen? You just smoking in your room? Goodness, I wish you wouldn't smoke inside there. There's a whole ship out here to do that, but all right. <clears throat> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, it's not on the Z's at the top of the screen. Maybe that's a necessitar. What are you doing? What are you doing, Daffodil? I love you, Daffodil. Little doofadil. I guess I'll fish for a little bit. Um, I don't really know what else I can do. Come here. Hope it's a kraken. It's a herring. Come on, baby. I'm gonna cook all these yummy fishes. How on earth can I fish? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Bad stuff. What's up? How do I do? Wait, what do I do here? I, uh. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. Mm -hmm. What? I guess they, they're bright, huh? They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I, I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Uh, pop them. Got it. I'll pop them. Daffodil, 
Do your best. I believe in you, Daffodil. Where are they? I see them. I'm popping them. That one's yet green. Oh, yes. Oh, I know what to do. Oh, yeah. We already got this. Ain't nothing getting by us, Daffodil. Stay away from Gwen. Yeah. Oh, no. Where do I? I can't get those. Oh, no. Gwen, I failed you. Well, they're not going to hit your house at least. Except for that one. <laughs> Wait. I have to go. Oh, I could go up here. I don't think they're going to kill her. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I can go over here. And collect them. Alright, I see. As long as I get the green ones. That's the stuff I need. That's the bright one. Glims. What do I use these for? Another wave coming. I got as many as I could, Captain. Wait, I'm the captain. Even better. Captain. Commander. I've gotten as many glims as I could. I got that big boy, Captain. Commander. Commander, why are you looking at me like that? Commander. Fantastic. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear, nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to brew the proper kitchen. For some reason, we need that stuff. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. Good for you, Gwen. All happening in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Okay, uh, kitchen. Boom. Oh, nuts. I should have... Wait, I'm gonna move your house. It needs to line up. Wait, how many spots is the kitchen? <laughs> One less spot. Okay, cool. I'm gonna... I want it to look like this. Like that. And then... And then throw a kitchen... Right in y'all. Yeah! Maybe something can still go there. Right, and it makes sense that she lives right next to the kitchen. Because she doesn't cook, and it's funny, haha. Lovely kitchen! You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. I don't really know, because I don't cook. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. You could even try these loose corn kernels that I have been hanging on to in my pockets. For goodness knows how long. I can't wait to see your cooking glory again. You've got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop these. Stella, it's too dark to. What? Corn is a golden grain with tons of different uses. Sometimes corny. Can be ground into corn flour in a windmill. Okay. I'm gonna cook three of them. I hope you wanted three. Corn kernels. Ah, yes, I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight, well, being light, or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do nothing you want, anything you want. Much different. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin, mm. you cabin. You'll wake up fresh and ready to go. And the ship will start up again in the morning. I think the popcorn is burning. Oh, and talking about that. You know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm. You can ring that bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right mm. time. <laughs> Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, mm. Stella. Have a good night. I love you, Gwen. You take a nice nap in there. Stairs in window. Um, I think this popcorn is now charcoal. 
Mmm, tasty. Ooh, popcorn. Actually, it's pretty yum yum. What else can I? I want to cook. Uh, ooh, a mussel. Small and delicious shellfish. Good with french fries. Cook it. Oh, that takes a lot longer. Just have to go up back around to the to the top. Uh, it doesn't seem like stuff can burn. Wake up! <laughs> oh, she's not happy. I'm sorry, I'll give you a hug. Oh, no, thanks, but that won't be necessary. <gasps> I made you unhappy. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark, but his interest in all things maritime would be yeah. helpful. Such as this boat upgrades he sells at outrageously high prices. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. Oh, they look like classic mythical challenges again. A bit cliche if you ask me. I'm sorry, what happened to your mood? You are hungry and you are annoyed by the bell. Oh. Oh. Oh, food's done. Oh, I, I can give her some of this food. She can smell it. I'm sorry for waking you up early. I'm really sorry. I I thought it would be a fun joke. But now I feel bad. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Okay. Uh, you're probably expecting popcorn, but surprise, it's shellfish. Well, I won't die just yet. Where'd you get that cake? Thanks, Stella. It's better than I could ever have thought it could have been, could be thought it could. But then again, you've always, you've always been the wonder in the mm. kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of mm. what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I could die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky, I can eat anything. Mm. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed mm -hmm. to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It is a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. No, mm -hmm. I didn't. Thank you for telling me. Okay, it's let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen, in your blueprint table, there's both a field and a garden blueprint, mm -hmm. which means you can grow many different things and turn this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in mm. my opinion. It could be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use mm. it in it. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It is called Mostin Cove, and there's something on it we need. Mm. I will tell you when we get there. Okay, thanks for the apple. I guess. Well, she's less cranky now because she's fed. Yeah, okay, not bad. You're not bad. You're not bad. I love you. Bye. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. And then we're gonna go. Oh, yeah, we can't, we can't drive when it's nighttime anyway. So we just gotta sleep till morning. Mmm. Look at me with my hood like a little hoodlum. That's my company. My companies. Press Z to toggle the clock and trajectory is playing on and on. Off on, off on. Okay. Good morning, Daffodoo. Daffodoo do. Now's a good time to take a drink. Big drink. Okay, I was just playing yo-yo. Okay, good morning. Again. Ding ding dong. Moo, my ding ding dong. You've already eaten, you're not hungry. Um, what are we doing? We are navigating to a place in which we can buy where we can have a garden or something. I wouldn't go here. Set sail. Set a course for adventure. 
And Stella. Mm. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Did you notice that? <laughs> Excuse me. You know I'm delighted that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds mm. up. You here taking care of me in my final hours? You've always cared so damn much about mm. others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember that day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with glittery tags, and there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. Yeah, that's what I do. I take care of people. Me. Stella. Daffodil. Am I dead? Is Daffodil dead? Is this what it looks like when we die? Did we just hit something? Oh my god, throw the anchor down! Throw the anchor down! There is no anchor, is there? We just kind of skid to a stop. Okay. Do I change the box? Oh, box, box, box. It is the box. I thought it was the box. Oh my god. We're going to drown. <gasps> a valuable ring. Court seeds. We got seeds. Gwen. We got seeds. We got... Did I see coffee seeds? How do I see my inventory? I, I have seeds. I have seeds. I want to build... Oh. We need logs, we need limestone. Yes. Cereal seeds, what? Right, we want a garden, correct? I think we want a garden. I'm not sure which one she said first. We'll find it. But, uh, that's pretty cool. Let's go to the next one, while we've got daylight. I think it's worthwhile to go after these uh, spicy things. Because we got extra seeds. We will have to purchase... We will not have to purchase as many when we go to the... to the shop. So... Hug time? <laughs> ah, feeling much better. I'm so happy you are feeling better. That is great. I totally care. Sorry, I have a problem with sounding sincere. <laughs> I love you, David. I love you. You got these bright green eyes like the ocean. Haha, <laughs> tricked you. Oh no! <laughs> When Stella or Daffodil leave the boat, it stops. It will restart automatically once everyone is back on board. Okay. Whatever. That's good to watch. I tricks. Little tricks. You know what's a really fun and therapeutic game is Slime Rancher. Slime Rancher. And it's pretty uh pretty long. I mean if you're only playing it for relaxation, there's a lot you can do. If you're playing it for a long time straight, I imagine, and you're like min-maxing things, I imagine you beat it pretty quickly, but if you're doing your own thing, doing what you love, it's one of those games that you can almost endlessly expand on it. Almost. Very cute. Very cute. I love slimes. I love slime. I love the kitty cat slimes. Here we are. Where's the box? Where's the box? Where's it? More seeds. Valuable rain coffee, corn, turnip. Wait, what's this? What is this? Must be in essence pretty. Hello? <gasps> Lime 
limestone. Pippi girl, that's what we needed. Did I miss a limestone at the other place? I wonder. We need more than one, though. So this is literally a destroyed ship. I can tell because of the piece of ship that is sticking out of the water. I am very smart. Okay, so up here is the only other thing we have to go off of. And there's probably scary storm stuff. Yeah, I can't go. Alright. So the Mostian Cove. I have hiccups, I'm sorry. Silent hiccups. They are deadly. Sneaky, silent hiccups. You wanna talk? I'm unable to talk with you. I am a little bit awkward. That's okay, I'll just dance on the roof. Dancing on the roof, yeah. This is a nice color combination in Stella's outfit. This kind of sea green and a mustard yellow. It's not a combination I would normally think of. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's two colors I'm not super fond of, but together they work. Why am I talking about it? Well, simply because we are on a boat traveling and I have and nothing else to do. <laughs> Gwen is a red reindeer. And that's pretty sick. Are those feathers in her hair or are those three sets of ears? Hmm. And she's got like a little star on her shoulder. Very fancy. Very fancy. A reindeer with three sets of ears. I'm very perceptive that way. This is where I would hang out. Can I do anything else? I can fish. I don't know how lucrative it is. Oh yeah, I never cooked those other... The herrings. I'll cook those. While we're waiting. While we're traveling. There also doesn't seem to be much to this fishing game. There's no penalty for... <laughs> Maybe there is a penalty for not doing it right. Sweet, I got an old shoe to match my other old shoe. Ah, uh, time to cook it. Can I cook the old shoe? Wait, where do I get a turnip? The most essential of all root veggies. I can cook wood. I guess I get coal. Charcoal or something. Let's cook these herring. Let's cook all of them. Five herring. Probably will take a long time, and so we've got time to explore. Uh, the Mostine Cove. Yes. Time to explore the Mostine Cove. Hey, for watching. Thank you for joining me. Really, really appreciate it. Look at that. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Duh. Are you coming with me? Us? Us, me? Let's go! Let's go! I wanna get this. I got an empty shell. Alright, now let's go. Oh, <laughs> get in here, Daffodil. We're leaving without you. Nice reflections. Oh, I have a little bit of transparency in my, <laughs> in my hood, which is ironically realistic. That's funny, actually. Welcome to my hair. Enjoy it now. Because it's gone. Okay. Sometimes I look over at my smaller screen and I'm like, huh. <laughs> Why am I looking at that? What's this? <gasps> Glen Battle? Ooh, I need that to get a uh, field? Mm -hmm. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine. I promise. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Ah, uh, if you say so. Sure. Drop. <gasps> no way. Oh, I don't know if Daffodil is really helping out. <laughs> Okay, that's adorable. That's adorable. Oh my god! Well done! Thanks. I work out. So does Daffodil. 
I got the raspberries. I love raspberries. That's me, Rue talking. Well done. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Drugs aside, that's how you do it. You can go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple drops. I'll be next to the raft. Okay, you don't help at all. I'll use my cat. Gwen. I had another big tree. It looks large enough for like a whole host of animal families to live in here. Let's chop it down. Right away. I need this to build a house for a, like a field or something. Or a casino. <laughs> what? Hey, I thought I could stand on it. Oh, I can. Ooh, what is this? The uh, daffodil, let us go and enjoy the sunset. Why am I talking like Gwen? What? What? Whoa. Wait a minute. Why do I do this? Hold E as long as possible to break a mining note. I was like... Not too long. Alright, when it blinks white, it's probably like... Hey, that's a lot of lines going. I got what I needed. I'm gonna guess that's it. Hey, we got the limestone we needed. Good girl, boy, Daffodil. I don't know what you are. You're a cat. The big booby tail. Hey, Gwen. You didn't leave without us, did you? Gwen. Gwen. Okay, there you go. Are you hungry? She's a little hungry. You want a raspberry? Mmm. -hmm. No, sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat fruit for the love. You said you could eat anything, just not more than one time. Mm -hmm. I've tried, but I just can't. Get in the boat. <laughs> Get in the boat, Gwen. Get in the boat. <laughs> sorry. I, uh... I stretch. <laughs> Food's done! Oh boy, burnt fish. Daffodil, you're going to love this. Oh my god, that looks wonderful. Where did I get those potatoes slash... Uh, lemon slices? Either would be nice. Can I come in? As I say, as I'm coming in. Hello. I have something for you. You said something about fish? Thanks, I love it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I think the hugs are like once a day. Let me check. How's your mood? Recently hugged. Optimistic. Eaten a meal she likes. Mm. Super. She likes the grilled fish. That's great, because she's only going to be eating it once, I imagine. If she's being honest about eating something only one time. Oh, do not ring the bell. Um, what was I gonna do? We can plot a course for another place before it becomes too dark to travel. Oh yeah, she wanted us to build the thingy. What's that? Hummingbird! A shop. Excusez-moi. I would love to go to the crates before night falls. And, what was I gonna do? Oh, build, build, build! Yeah, I was thinking about cooking something before that, but I think we'll just build. Wait, what is this? Oh, that was the post for leaving this area, that's what it was. Okay, we have enough to make the field. Oh, no, it's big. Wait, why does it remove that? Oh, no. Oh, is it night? It is nighttime. Okay. Well, we are finished traveling for tonight. However, I will build a field. Um. Oh. Oh, I can put this next to the house and put the kitchen up higher. Oh, that's not the house. 
Okay, there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can put this next to the house. Okay. I will move this. Kitchen, you stay up here. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll put it yeah. And then I'll put the the new fields. The fields should be ought to be on the ground, yeah. So that looks not bad. However, let's take our kitchen and put <laughs> Can I flip it? No. Whatever. Our kitchen will... <laughs> Our kitchen will be up here. I don't care. We can move it anytime. Wee. Nice. I can parkour over here. <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. Can I plant anything before going to sleep? Are you okay in there, Gwen? Gwen? Um, coffee, coffee, plant coffee. Do I want more corn or more coffee? This is the question. Let's, let's think about what's important here, coffee. Water. Nice. <laughs> I can summon water from my belt buckle. Ugh. Can't everyone do that? Alright. So, if I go to sleep now, we'll have one. Oh, you okay? Gwen, you alright? Oh, am I just sleeping with Gwen on the couch? Aww. What is that? I think it looks like a a dancing bird that's looking down. That's just like dur, 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 dur. that's what I think. Yes, I'm very smart. Can I click on it? Can I can I touch it? Can I move? Oh. oh okay, well, that's very cute. Hope you enjoy that nice picture of me and Daffodil on your wall. Bye. Look at that from time to time. Wink, wonk, wink. Winks with both eyes. Good night. Sleep until the morning. I should have started cooking something. That's fine. Ah. I have no idea why I put my title as Blush's first date kind of nervous. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect. Again. And I was thinking, oh, it's my first time. Oggy doggy. The shadow here looks pretty cool. It's like a projector. I love that. Oh, we are still on our way to that. Um, cash. It's ding dong time. Good morning. Good morning. Where are you going? Where are you going? Should go into the kitchen? Mm -hmm. A field. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, I think we hit some. It's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Quoi? Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. That's right. Simple but elegant. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the fields, so don't bother trying. Mm -hmm. But you know me. I, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. I, I, I but I, I planted. Theodore specializes in seeds. He has set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town in the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Incorporated, a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. I think I've dealt with these types before. Two brothers, one older one, who's like, his name is Thomas. Yes, this world has a serious problem with dubious business practices. Since I don't want to get you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. 
let's head to Humming Road then. We just need to find some seeds for that field. I trust you have the best intentions. But I've got a bunch of seeds, including linen. Oh, you know what? I want to dig up one of these and put linen inside. Do I have the ability to? Uh... I water, I water, I water, water, and water, and water. Hmm. I wonder. It doesn't look like I have the ability to dig it up, so it's fine. I won't make linen. Right. Give me something special, please. Ooh, redstone, copper ore. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna try and get some stuff off of this side of this boat. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Buckling. I guess we can eat them too. Nice. Um. Yeah. So it's for the town we were talking about. Buttersburg. Um. Oh, there's crates right on the way to Hummingbird. Hot dang. Let's go. Well, let's go on get getting on getting out of there. I'm sorry. You're standing next to the kitchen, and you are right. I should be cooking. Always. What do we have? <gasps> Berries! I can... Cook? Them? Cook them. I can only cook... One of each type of food. Like, I can't mix foods right now. Which is odd. Mixing foods is pretty sweet. So how are you doing today? Really? Sorry to hear that. Hopefully, your day will get better. What? It's good? Don't be so modest. You deserve better. Choo. Choo. Yo, my cat just jumped straight up here. Dang, cat. You strong. Okay. Looks like we're just gonna relax until we get to the location. The fishing seems very... Oh, here we are. Give me... Oh! There's something underwater here. Quartz. Of course it is. Oh, yes. More bottles, coffee beans, turnip, corn seeds. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't continue going to the wrong direction. Please go here and stay. Yes. We're not far. We'll be there in a jiffy liffy wiffy. Jiffy wiffy. Oh, you need a hug today. It's hug time. It's hug time, Gwen. Thank you. Are you hungry? You haven't had popcorn yet. Here you go. I love comfort food so damn much. <laughs> Good. Oh, look at your mood. Ha 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 Oh my goodness, we are rapidly approaching the destination. I keep doing this to get myself some air, some oxygen into my ear. Because my ear is getting hot. And I refuse to take down my hood. You know how it is. We're here. In Hummingbird Land. Hummingbird Berg. Oh, come on. Come, Gwen. Let's go shake down a raccoon for his wares or her wares. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on his island. Let's buy him a visit. Theodore. Hmm. Alright. Let's go. She just always stands there like.
Ooh, look at these red looming thingies. Whoa, stinky person. Hello. I simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage wares. Seeds, logs, rocks, all useless items. I need my hat like yours. Yeah, tell me about it. So no hats here? Let's get going. I don't need anything. I can walk in here. Hello? 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 <laughs> this is my house now. Hello? What's this? <gasps> Carrot seeds! Turnip seeds! Oh my goodness. I'm going to have everything I need for a garden as well. Hi, stinky person. Oh. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden? Maybe a pool? Oh. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I don't know. I know you can't help me, but it seems... It helps you say it out oh. loud. I might stumble on your very to find. Hey, a fire hydrant. Cool. You're blue. Oh. Yeah, I, I hope my next game... I've crushed said it's been five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapons proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there's a nifty synergy with the level three rogue ability of oh. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Get away from me. You stay far away from me. You stay far away from me. And by the way, that would be much more better on an elf build. Shut up. Oh, take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fire and the Everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's mm -hmm. abilities. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use all those to activate it. But to get Abelos, you'll need to welcome more spirits on mm -hmm. your ship. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. Please stop blowing smoke in my face, Gwendolyn! Sorry, Gwen. Sometimes it just... gets to me. Hello, house. Hello. Oh. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. And then you'll tell- and then they'll tell people. Listen. I just don't want junk mail. <laughs> Leave my door alone. Okay. Hi, tall person. Oh. Let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary or Marguerite? It's Missy. Wait, no. Is she? No, don't tell me. It's. Oh, shoot. I'll get it someday. I believe in you. You were closest when you said shoot. Hi, other tall person. My favorite spot is on this beach at the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful. After a long day's work, oh my. I shouldn't have told you if I wanted to keep it that way. Oh, at the end oh. of the pier, you say? Good day to ya. That's the kind of man I can agree with. <laughs> a stroll a day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor ever. Oh no. Why did I think about health all of a sudden? I am suddenly starting to feel unwell. I am not sick. I am okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's Theodore. Go ahead. Take a look at what he's selling. I just like doing voices sometimes and practicing. And this is a good game for it. Oh my god, Theodore. You're getting the chunky... Cheeks voice. I have to. Hopefully you don't talk very much. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell and no, I wanna buy stuff. Uh key for hummingbird. Five hundred thousand bubbles. Seven thousand, six thousand. How many do I have? Four hundred and twenty-five. Okay. Uh oh. I'm guessing. Excuse me. I'm guessing you're ripping me off. I'm guessing you're ripping me off. Separate up, potential suspect. I mean prospect. 
Welcome to Raccoon Incorporated. <laughs> I could do the thing I do for Tom Nook and have an Indian voice, but that is just not appropriate. <laughs> We've been servicing hummingbirds since forever. You've got the glimpse, we've got the guts. I spent all, I've got all the ways to, to make you get, give us the money. Step right up. Okay, um, no. What was that? Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Mm. Yes, yes, I am. Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here, and you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. She called him a trash panda. Mm. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. <gasps> what? Uh, Madam, what is the meaning of this? Mm. My friend here is a new spirit fairer, but she is not a newbie, and neither am I. Mm -hmm. That little scam of yours will not work on us. Mm. But I, I assure you, my business practices are mm. quite above board. Be warned, you treacherous trapped weasel. I wouldn't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double mm. crosses, just fair prices. I... I... Mm. should stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll be trying... to be nicer. <laughs> <laughs> My ability to read... is just... precious. If you start being smarter, mm. got it? But... I yes. Yes, of course. I, I promise, I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll give you a discount. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. <laughs> <coughs> you both look like you could use possibly join the upstairs crew. You would have come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump in humanely high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot just lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. All right. Uh. I'll remember that. Thanks, upstairs guy. There's a lot of weird people here. Aw, oh, Daffodil. I'm not ignoring you. You're precious. This panda trash panda looks like it could eat us. It's quite a large person. I'm sorry. I'm in a bit of a rush. Are you? I'm busy, miss. Yeah, okay. Can I jump in the window? I heard that the key is lost. It's locked. Um, well, the... The guy said he was gonna adjust his prices. The raccoon. I would love to double jump. Or I could buy that key. He had a key. Which I think is probably the... 5,000. Okay, uh, never mind. Still expensive. That's more like it. What don't I have? I don't have... Can I check my inventory? Get out of here. I. T. Tab. Upgrades. Mailbox, Intrepid Otter, Hobbyist. Oh. I can afford the hobbyist upgrade, apparently. That one. Um, very cool. Mailbox. I cannot afford that. Oh, sorry, I was not done looking. Shenanigans. No shenanigans? How do I see my inventory? Blah, 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 R. <laughs> okay, dokie then. Um, bubble? 
key for Stella's cabin. Oh, I can sell these things. They are all just sold. Chotki? Chotki? <laughs> oh, did I just take the glims out of that bottle? Nice. Alright, I have some turnips. What do I have the seeds for? Show me the seeds. Oh, I have a bright jelly. It doesn't go on to us. No, 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 no. Show me the seeds, darling. Show me the seeds. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. I skipped right past it. Corn seed. Coffee beans. Carrot seeds. We have six of those. Don't need those. Linen could use a couple more. Turnips. Okay. We need two linen, two turnip. And if there's something new there as well. Seeds. Linen. Linen. Two turnips. We got plenty of corn, coffee, and carrots. Okay. Now I have four of each seed, at least. Limestone, I have enough, I think. Copper ore, I don't think I need for anything right now. So, yeah, good for you, little creature. That's the nicest thing I could have said. Wait, wait where's the micelli stuff? What? I thought there was stuff I could sell. That's, like, just silly stuff. Huh. Fantastic! You've got everything you need. I'll take my leave. I I feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Okay. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you. Why can't I sell the, uh... The odds and ends, the bubbles, the bits. An excellent salesperson always cares what customer needs. So my well-off patron, what can I do with you for? Okay, get out of here. With your canned responses. Hmm. Yeah? Oh, I thought you had something to say. Sorry, I actually cannot speak. That person's still in here. Knock, knock, knock. You're starting to annoy me. Stop rattling my knob! <laughs> Stop rattling my knob. Oh. I'm busy, miss. Alright. Man, I wish I had another obble. I need to find another spirit who needs some spiriting. Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Secret? Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Secret, 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 secret. Um, I'm good for now. Let's go home. I mean, to the boat. Boathouse. Boat life. Oh yeah. Too dark to navigate. It will be possible again at sundown. You got it, Bucko. Um, don't I have the ability to build another? No. I can almost build another kitchen. <laughs> For some reason. I believe something has died in the kitchen. What was it? Poached fruit. Yummy, yummy. I guess. Yummy, yummy. Might as well throw some turnips in there. I don't know. Cook everything. Uh, we don't have a refrigerator, but I'm assuming... The cooked food stays stays good. And I can use that for Gwen and other spirits when the time comes. So, right now. There we go. Sorry. That was probably not very uh, therapeutic. I need to water these. Be responsible. Ah. Oh my goodness, it grew right away. Now that's some quality H2O. 
Good night, Gwen. Oh, why is Gwen not so sad, Gwen? You okay? Why don't you sleep on the... Oh, there is no bed. There's no bed. Maybe I should put a bed in these guest houses? Just a thought. Anyway, good night. Whee! It's totally responsible. It is totally responsible to leave the kitchen on. And the oven on. See? Ding! Fries are done. Ah. We slept on the boat. On the spirit faring vessel. Just outside of town. We should, uh... Get on the road. We're all the getting's good. Oh. Berkshire Creek. Do I want to go here get more... Stuff? Or like... Go down to Albert's shipyard. I know we can get a... An upgrade. Um... I think we should go... Oh, I can't... Here, no. No. No, not, not that far. Maybe like... Here. I want to go around the scary stuff. And just explore. Because we don't have to go right to a... Right to an objective. We can travel around the map. Good morning, Gwen. Oh, I can almost make coffee for you soon. Oh, is it ready? Gwen. Gwen, you're going to love this. Gwen, you're going to love this. Gwen, you're going to love this. Has my volume been slightly too high all this time? I don't know. That's going to be really sad to me, if so. Um... This time, definitely linen. Uh, two linens. Um, three linens. Screw it. It should be watered automatically since it is raining. But I just want to make sure. <laughs> no, it was not watered. There we go. It looks great. Well, oh, that me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. Oh, I know. Girl, I've been doing this the whole time. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. I'm sorry? You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. Dots, I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit pharaoh, and spirit pharaohs find spirits, and yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. Is that the new thing on the map? Because that's where I'm heading. I'll bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Go. Let's sail. I, I will. Quick! Okay, hold on. I just couldn't explain it at first, but then it hit me. I'm starving. Oh! Oh, you just hold on a moment, girl. I got something in here. It's done. And I'm gonna make some coffee. Grilled veggies. Heck yeah. Why can't I grill the corn? Um... Coffee, 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 make all the coffee, make all of it. Wait there. Just wait. You just wait. You just wait a second, hon. You just wait a second. I know she loves coffee. I remember when she told me, it's done. It's done. Crushed coffee. Wakey, wakey. Black coffee. Um. I hope you like it. Dark as night. <gasps> now, this is one damn fine cup of coffee. I haven't... I, I've had... I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life. 
But this is certainly my favorite of them all. Thank you very, very much, Stella. She's very happy. Oh, oh dang. How would you feel with a hug as well this morning? Hmm. Mm. Oh, nice. Coffee and a hug. Feeling much better. Her mood is up. She's, she's maximum mood. Favorite food, black coffee. Likes comfort food and something else. She liked fish. She liked fish. She dislikes fruit. Okay. She dislikes fruit. I will remember that. I don't think she'll be stay fed long with that meal though. Oh, I really should have been moving, huh? Let's let's move in. I'm pretty sure we can't go straight through that lightning. Although I imagine it will like teach us something. It will probably like give us some kind of tutorial. So let's see here, let's just touch it. It's raining when we get into that zone. And now we're hitting storm. Bad storm. Bad storm. Are we okay? Are we, can, we, can we make it through this? Is it safe? She's going inside. It's raining. What do you have to say about Ooh. this? Oh, this rain. Will it ever stop? It just started. Oh, it's not bad. I think we've already cut through it. I didn't realize that I could just cut straight through it, but, you know. Playing it cautiously. Where are you going? Are you going to cook something? Or are you just kind of exploring? Whoa. Here we are. This is another, like, uninhabited island. Except for a spirit who has lost their way. Barkensheim Creek discovered. <gasps> Excuse me, my, my hiccups are forever. Time to drink. <laughs> Booyah! Okay. Uh, Gwen, you ready? Uh, you're not gonna say anything, are you? Alright, well, let's find a buddy. I wonder who it will be. Alright, maybe we can cut down some more trees, huh? It says, Caution, do not chop down anything. These trees are made for animals. Please do not chop... Please stop chopping. What are you doing? Do not do that. That's what the sign said. <gasps> Tell me the spirit's gonna pop out of one of these trees and be like, Excuse me? <laughs> They're gonna pop out of that bush, aren't they? Time to destroy the environment. I need to build a toilet on my boat. Is this gonna hit? It doesn't hit. Okay. I wasn't sure. Hello? Hey! Oh! Great! You're here! Listen! I just dropped a lemon in that pond! Yeah? My fingers are all sticky! It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question! I've been eating delicious berries all day! Look at my hands, I swear! I've been experimenting! Yeah? I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. It's oh, unless it's just down there in the water. I'll do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. I don't. I can't tell what you are. Ah, uh, all right. Let me get your lemon or whatever. A lemon, huh? Got it. That's the one. It just I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to go get berry juice all over it. Never. 
Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have any spices. My spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Okay, I won't think about it. Uh, uh, he just invited himself onto my boat and... It looks like the... It also looks like the... The teeth of the saw are on the wrong side when whenever we do this whole saw thing. What's over here? Secret? Secret? No. No secret. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel. Sorry, I forget my foot is shaking. And uh, sometimes it's like... It makes me do this. How about you're on my boat? I'll be your favorite new passenger. Just you wait. I'm gonna change your voice slightly. Welcome aboard. Still on. Oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. It's a frog. <gasps> He's actually way cuter than I thought. It's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atul. Surprise? Happily, I hope. I've been out on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights. See you with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Sorry about that southern draw for, for a second. Wait a second. Is... Is that... Huh. Where are you going? Don't eat Gwen. Atul? <gasps> you like fishing, don't you, Atul? You like fishing, don't you, Atul? Uh, are you gonna make fishing better? That's a Seamaster 2000! I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently, you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Well, Stella, you sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few boats. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Not entirely. Well, not anymore. Nice. This guy comes in handy. Uncle Atul. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Seamaster 2000. With the proper bolts installed. Whoa. Ah, okay, there's actually a, a timing involved now. There wasn't before. Oh, let go and it's yellow. Okay, so it starts turning red. And I cannot pull them. There we go. A squirt! Hell yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. I got a squirt. I'm gonna get another thing. I'll get two things. It is about to be sleepy time. Let's go. Let's go. Now it's a little bit more interesting. I want to catch difficult stuff. Come closer. Come closer, fishy. And let off, let off, let off. Let up. Come here. Yes, it's tiring out. There it is. A soul. Uh, I love soul. Uh. Great job, Sprout. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has got me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pocket, John Gardner. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. 
Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Get slime all over the entire ship. Are you both going to sleep in there? Yeah. Gwen, you've got two obbles. I wasn't planning on you looking at them. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird? Oh, sorry. Your voice. I tried to add them there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Ah, you're right. I should go waste my time. I'm just kidding. I would love to. It's going to give me a special skill. Is linen... Linen has purple flowers like this? Hmm. Oh. I stretch. Well, well. What is it? I've got that weird feeling that there's a creepy man looking at me. I'm actually rather hungry. Oh, um... The thing is, hun, you don't eat anything twice. You haven't had veggies before. Thanks, I love it! Oh, nice. Okay, good. Um... He's... dead. So he doesn't need to eat. Do not ring the bell. It is sleepy time. Um... Oh. Stretching of the neck. Necesito. Ah, let's cook up a squid. Yeah. Calamari. Order up. Order in. Cool. Um. Do I have enough to build another house while it's nighttime? You can only build one of these. Okay. Understood. Wait, why is he awake? What? What? A tool. What did you just do? A tool. What was that? That's kind of creepy how they're just standing in there. Like... <laughs> but, okay. You do what you want to do. Alright. I'm going to go to sleep here. And it is 10 something. So I think I'm going to end this one here with this night. And I will start it the following morning. Um, not in my time, game time. But yeah, I'll be on tomorrow night. If I'm available. Tomorrow's Saturday. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is probably going to mostly be seen as a recorded series. So, um, but I stream regularly on Twitch at night at 8 o'clock EST. So if you're looking for a relaxing time, go there. And thank you for finding me. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a great night. Because if you're watching this and it's not nighttime, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. Take care. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.